Thank you so much for watching Tomofujita Music. Today, I'm going to do a lesson, three levels for Steve Ray Vaughan, Tim Pan Alley. I think this song, everyone will love this song. Amazing song. And often people say, oh, just minor pentatonic, or blue scale, or Dorian scale. Very easy to say, here we go, this is it. But it's really, um, you can't really define somebody's life of music just like that. The parts of it, definitely, I agree, you can say that. But to me, Stevie Ray Vaughan is the guitar, it's a blues, it's a soul. And you have to capture that. And so, when you learn, I think you have a bias toward more soulful music than theory too much. I mean, definitely a little bit theory handles to understand the music. But, so, the first thing, I'm, I'm, I, let me play a little bit, then I can sort of show you about the phrasing. So I made a backing track, but here's a backing track. You listen and tell me what you think if you compare to regular backing track you hear. So I, I imitate Tommy Shannon's bass line. It's like really simple, more, more rock than blues or jazz. It's really simple, root fifth, little bit blues scale, little bit run arpeggios, but pretty simple, not so much chromaticism because most um, jazz player does a lot of chromatic scale. He does a little bit more pentatonic, really good, soulful. So you have to think about double trouble is a trio, guitar, bass, and drums. Three guys breathe, breathing together. It's not like a backing track that has bass line, drums, guitar parts, or keyboard parts. Assemble everything. This one, everybody take a part of the band. So you know that the success to understand this music, his style, if you make a backing track, you can make a backing track by chords because too much information, too much suggestion in certain chords. Do you know? This way, only the bass line, and the bass line definitely contains root fifth, something flat three. Flat three make more minor. But if Tommy does one fifth, one fifth, like that, then that's where Steve Ray Vaughan can make a little bit jazzier sound in the live situation. So for example,
maybe. can control to make a 5 with G as a minor or dominant. Usually, a little bit more jazz guy, more toward the more jazzier blues player prefer 5 is dominant. But this one, every chord is to me, it's minor. So that's really pure hardness. I mean, like a kind of sadness that he creates. So now, do you understand the structure part of it? It's really important, has to be empty so that the CB can really fill in with his feeling. And so like now, let's talk about first phrasing. Phrasing to me, it's like minor pentatonic but more bluesy sound. Not, not minor pentatonic. That's minor pentatonic, but when I'm talking, And then you have to use the first finger, like an Oliver King do. So first, right, you should try, work on this fret. Like... but you have to understand. He does that, I get lost a little bit about the thought, you know, tr uh, thinking because so many things in it. So that's what I do. Exciting to do lesson, individual lesson, so the person wants to know, and my job to give them what's going on, and then we choose things to do. So the beginning, you have to limit. So like second string, first string again. Go back to sugary. Simple. I mean, don't get me wrong. Not simple means simplicity. Very deep, very sophisticated Jerry Garcia solo. You can really define by theory, more than theory. It's a story, life. But, but theory, can help to understand what's going on. Not the whole thing. So that's the kind of cool thing, all right? So that, one phrase, important. Then he does like a buddy guy thing, you know, so like, so that phrasing, root, Flat three, four, fluffa. Then keep Buddy Guy and um, Kenny Burrell too. And 
and speaking uh, tone, Stevie does front to middle. It, it, it's really great tone, but to to you, I mean, to all my students, I tell you, don't practice with two pickups, because sounds too pretty, just so pretty, which is good. But when you practice, you wanna get the result. You wanna get going better. So anything easy, anything pretty, get rid of it. Because if you do, you just don't waste any time. So to me, practice like this. I can hear everything, but this one, It's make a little prettier, so it ended up I hit harder. I liked it. So already, um, two phrases, right? So two phrase, then so already fourth string to first string, you know, simple. Then here he does. This is important. Still going. Still going. Still going. I have a T. Still going. I can play in time, but you get the idea. Now, three levels. We have to do three levels, right? So the one, definitely, phrasing, you have to know that. And then I talked about bass line. So like a chord progression, you have to know that. Then this song, he does um, recording, you know. What's that? Try it. Good thing. I mean, if you play every night, do the gig, slowly, you learn triads, only three. You have to understand triads, chord progression, bass line, harmony. So I would say really important part is harmony. You can't just practice the backing track that somebody made. You have to understand the chords. You have to appreciate every bass line, chords, harmony. You have to do that. So this song, all three minors, extremely difficult to play 
really well, you know. So, oh, it's a minor song. It's a tr oh, pentatonic, easy to say, but you can't play this like Stevie Ray Vaughan. It's really hard. So last one, I would say space. That's the one. So if you watch any Steve Raybon live video, usually he does two chorus built in a little bit right before he sings. And that's really great because a lot of people want to play so many chorus of solo, but you don't need to play many if you don't know what to say. You have to know what to say if you want to say more, right? So idea is when you practice one chorus two chorus i think that's really good that's enough why not just keep it that way you know so yeah i can go i don't know how long i'm talking but i can go this one long time just because so deep i can talk one hour about the minor blues still i can feel everything just because really really deep by the way before i forget this is stratcaster steve ravon strat i bought this 1992 or because my first my first son older son he was born 90, 1993 january so um a funny story really short my wife's pregnant and I was already deciding to buy this so I already bought it. Then the problem was, not problem, I had, you know, original pick guard, all, all black and then a lot engraved. So I knew that's not good for my funk style. So my wife is in the hospital. I brought catalog and I cut out these uh, tortoiseshell uh, picture and then putting it to the picture of Steve Raven Strat, tell, tell Beth, what do you think? She's got, I don't know, she's busy, you know? So that's a funny story about. <laughs> so this, this guitar has a lot of a memory. So, so funny, before or right after I bought this one, I already changed to this picker, Tortoiseshell. I bought this in the, um, music store in Boston. This one is just sticker, the TF sticker. Somewhere I have. I show you next time. Maybe I have somewhere. Mm, let me see. I thought I have somewhere. <laughs> I thought I oh yeah, yeah I do I do I do I do yeah check this out so this is it I wonder how much can you go closer? Oh, look at that. How you do this? Make it odd. Oh, oh, sorry. See? How's that? This is a TF sticker. This is really cool about my new video. See, you going to go, you can go this. Closer, everybody, everything will work. If you go back. Amazing. This is kind of hard. This is my wife, and then my kids in the back. And John Mayer told me he has same. He has sticker and on his guitar, and see where I So we have this kind of similar taste. I can go back again. I can go back again. Um, you know, talking about blues, talk about minor blues. But um, yeah, let let me play just a little bit so that you can hear. Like you know, so again just the bass so that i have a freedom just like a stevie has N nobody dictate you oh you have to go to the four minor or five seven it's free because that's a trio Then four, four. 
So the space means like this. Tommy Shannon, space. 
then imagine imagine So this is how I record it. Reveal this one. So if I do this, obviously I cannot keep in time because if I'm playing alone, you have to play with somebody. So I play metronome. I, I little help from my metronome. So this is what I did. So when I record, loop like. So that's why in time because I I I have little help from someone. Metronome, thank you so much. So again, that's it. That's it tonight. I hope you have a good time and had a great time and really, really uh, great song, Tim Alley. So please listen to Stevie Ray Vaughan and Jimmy Vaughan. He gave so much influence on Stevie Ray Vaughan. Amazing. Thank you, everyone. And see you soon. Thank you.